those who refused to abandon their gods became the Dalish, a nomadic people dedicated to preserving their ancient culture and faith. The Dalish continue to revere the Evanuris, passing down stories of the gods and maintaining the rituals of their ancestors. Despite centuries of persecution and loss, the Dalish see themselves as the keepers of elven history and the Evanuris remain central to their identity. Following the initial events of the Exalted Council, the Inquisitor discovers that the elven gods were in fact phenomenally powerful mages who rose in prominence after the end of an unknown war. Solas implies that the Evanuris started out as generals during the war, then respected elders, then kings, and finally were revered as gods who became corrupt tyrants in order to hoard and maintain their own power. The Evanuris institutionalized a system of slavery using Valaslin as a brand, with only Fenharel and more subtly Mithal challenging their tyranny. Most of the gods were arrogant in their ways, their power and attitudes more akin to the Tevinter magisters. Eventually, the other Evanuris plotted against Mithal and killed her, prompting Fenharel to lead a rebellion against them and later creating the veil to banish them into the beyond. To find out more about Solus's betrayal, I have an entire video dedicated to him and his acts, which I have linked in the description and end of this video. The Evanuris consist of nine deities, each representing a specific aspect of life and elven culture. These gods are powerful figures who embody virtues, vices and elements of the natural world. We currently know through one of the Veil Guard's trailers that during an event where Solus begins to finish his ritual to destroy the Veil and is also in the process of moving the Evanuris to a new prison, he's interrupted by Nev Gallus, Lace Harding and Rook who collapse giant pillars around the temple where the ritual is taking place. This breaks Solus's concentration and ends in freeing Elgarnan and Galanine from their prison. Knowing this, these Evanuris will more than likely play a large part in the upcoming game. Elgar Nan, known as the All-Father and the eldest of the Sun, is the god of fatherhood and vengeance. He leads the pantheon alongside Mithal. According to elven myth, Elgar Nan was born of the Sun and the Earth. He represents the power of anger, wrath and retribution. His most famous myth involves him casting the Sun down from the sky in vengeance after it burned the Earth. Only through Mithal's intervention did Elgar Nan relent and return the sun to the sky, establishing the day-night cycle. Dalish elves invoke Elgar Nan's name when they seek retribution or when they need strength in battle. His story reflects the power of fury balanced by responsibility. Mithal is the protector and all-mother of the elven pantheon. She is the goddess of justice, motherhood and love and is revered for her wisdom and ability to balance wrath with compassion. In elven myth, Mithal is often portrayed as a calming force, most notably when she soothed Elgarnan's anger and convinced him to restore the sun. Mithal's role extends beyond the mortal world. She is seen as a protector of the people, even in the beyond. Mithal's story doesn't end with her death. She was betrayed and murdered by the other Evanuris which led Fenharel to seal them away. After her death, she is believed to have found refuge in Flemeth, the Witch of the Wilds, seeking justice for her betrayal. Gilanan is the goddess of the Hala, graceful, white deer-like creatures revered by the Dalish. Once a huntress chosen by Andruil, Gilanan was transformed into the first Hala and later elevated to the status of a goddess. As the mother of the Hala, she is invoked by Dalish hunters when they are lost or seek guidance. Her story reflects devotion and transformation, and she is a symbol of loyalty to the Dalish way of life. Falundin is the god of death and fortune, also known as friend of the dead. He guides the souls of the dead to the beyond. Falundin is one of the twin sons of Elgarnan and Mithal, and his connection to death makes him a pivotal figure in the elven view of the afterlife. He is often seen as a guide and protector for those journeying to the Fade. Durthamon, the twin brother of Falondin, is the god of secrets and knowledge. He is also known as the Keeper of Secrets and is often depicted with his two ravens, fear and deceit. Durthamon's gift to the elves was knowledge 
and he taught them loyalty and faith in family. He represents the importance of understanding and the hidden truths of the world, which are central to elven culture. Andruel is the goddess of the hunt, known also as the Great Hunter. She embodies the force and bloodshed of survival, representing the hunt's dual nature of life and death. Andruel is a revered figure for Dalish hunters and warriors, who invoke her name in times of battle or survival in the wild. Siles, the Hearthkeeper, is the goddess of domestic life. She is associated with fire, healing, and the domestic arts, teaching the elves how to weave, create fire, and heal with herbs. Siles is invoked when peace and protection within the home are needed. She reflects the importance of family and the comforts of home life. June is the master of crafts and the god of crafting and invention. He taught the elves how to create tools, weapons, and other necessary items for survival. In some stories, June is depicted as the husband of Siles, while in others, he is considered her brother. Regardless, his contributions to elven society are essential, particularly for the tools of the hunt provided to Andrew's followers. Fen Harel, the Dreadwolf, the most enigmatic and feared of the elven gods. The Dreadwolf is a trickster and god of rebellion. He is known for his betrayal of both the Evanuris and the Forgotten Ones, sealing them away in their respective realms and bringing about the fall of the elven empire. Fen Harel's true motives remain somewhat unclear, with some viewing him as a liberator, others not so much. His story continues to play a pivotal role in elven myth as we enter into Veilgard's storyline. In contrast to the Evanurs, the Forgotten Ones are a mysterious and malevolent group of gods. Little is known about them as their names and deeds have been largely erased from elven memory. However, they are often portrayed as the enemies of the Evanurus. The Forgotten Ones are a shadowy and maligned aspect of the ancient elven pantheon, representing darker and more destructive forces. Where the Evanuras are seen as creators and protectors, the Forgotten Ones are gods of disease, terror and malevolence. These beings were the enemies of the Evanuras and were ultimately locked away in the abyss by Fen Harel during the Great Betrayal. While little is known about them today, fragments of lore suggest that they once wielded considerable power and influence over the elves, embodying the darker side of existence. The Forgotten Ones were never widely worshipped, and their names have largely been lost to time. However, they remain figures of fear within elven culture, with some secret cults rumoured to have sought their power in times of desperation. Their connection to death and destruction stands in stark contrast to the benevolence of the creators, uh, making them a constant threat in elven mythology. Though the identities of most of the Forgotten Ones are shrouded in mystery, some names have survived in elven legends. For example, Geldauran, one of the Forgotten Ones, is remembered in an ancient inscription attributed to him. He shares the same arrogance and cruelty that Solus attributes to the Evanuris, suggesting that both factions of gods were equally flawed. The Dalish view the Forgotten Ones with suspicion, believing that their influence still lingers in the darkest corners of the world waiting to corrupt those who seek vengeance or power. The story of the Forgotten Ones is closely tied to Fen Harel, who played both sides in the conflict between them and the Evanuris. By sealing both factions away in their respective realms, Fen Harel ended their war, but he also severed the elven people's connection to their gods, leaving the fate of the Forgotten Ones and their followers uncertain. If you enjoyed the video, want to see more and help support the channel, you can hit the join button to find out more on how to do it. Your support helps the channel grow and is always greatly appreciated.